Hello everyone, and welcome back to another video on my channel, and as you see, we are playing Marble Age. If you're like, what is Marble Age? Then I'll read you this brief thing from the Steam page. It says, Term-based historical simulation strategy developed a great civilization from a small village to the... To, from the... Um, excuse me, my bad there. From a small village to the great city-state, where it will dominate the world! Exclamation point, it has. And there's more here, but I just want to give you that brief little thing. But anyways, so on with the game. As you see, I have played this game beforehand, but, but for the purposes of this video, we're going to create a new game. And unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be a tutorial, at least in these settings. Uh, so, let's we'll just, um, go through. Um, Athens or Sparta? Hmm. For this, let's just, let's just, let's, let's just have a strong army, I guess. And, um, let's just, let's just play normal. I you, I you have this one by default, which, okay, that's nice, I guess. Um, uh, more farmers, army limit less, does that mean I have 10% less of an army? Uh, hopefully, because that doesn't seem that good. Population growth less by 5%. <laughs> Human sacrifices. Oh, man. Dual rule, huge plains. Fleet fishermen mastery. More food by sea. More production growth in hills. An army is stronger. Oh, gold. Hmm. What's, what's better? A stronger army or more gold? I guess with gold, I can maybe buy more stuff. And this is a... Uh... Oof. Well, that's some, just some tad splatters. This is some more production growth in the hills. An army is stronger. So I think this is probably better than this because... Um... I maybe, um... This main production just... It's just better overall. Maybe to make more money from that. Uh... And sure, I just like to be my name. I'm not good enough names. You know what? Penguin Linus, because I like penguins and trying to make it sound <laughs> like this. Great? Sure, let's just go with that. Penguin Linus. It's harder, blah 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 blah. It has a tutorial. I'll show you right there. Oh. Huh. Okay, I guess. My bad. I guess we can play Athens because, um,. To give you people to show you all a tutorial because I guess it's gonna have something, and so I'm um, sorry, my bad if I lie. I said we would do it, but I guess we're not now. And, and I tell one too, but I tell one to show off the game and show off how to play it in this um, time span of the video. So hopefully, it now has that, but now we gotta choose another type of um, thing. Uh, farmers produce more food, tech centers generate more gold, more science, more culture, shipbuilding, more culture, and production in hills. Hmm. Huh. Uh, uh, advanced marble working, advanced shipbuilding, culture, love to freedom. More torture and pre I don't know what's. Well, this is this is just a base ten percent. This is only if you're in the hills. So I'll just I'll just do with that. We have um fortress of democracy and torture, strong science and diplomacy, peaceful city with a, with a weak army though. But for the purposes of, the, of this video, we'll just do it because I hope he has a tutorial then. Yes. 
people from nearby tribes have decided to found a new city, Athens. The main values will be democracy, peace, and culture. With a lot of enemies in the weak army. Thank you for just keep rubbing that in my face. <laughs> Athens. We need to have a lot of powerful, powerful allies. I love how they keep rubbing it in my face. Main goal, unite the entire known world. If I turn to 80 brilliant victory, you know, 285 gold, 290 silver, 295 bronze, 301, just iron. And I guess if you're just beyond that, if you can go beyond that, maybe it's just, I don't know, some pity prize and maybe you won't do anything. Um, this is the center of your settlement. Here, the pop, um, the people produced a small amount of production, culture, and gold. Now we have, now we short. I feel that that doesn't um, sound right, dramatically speaking. Now we short in food. M maybe it should be now we are short in food, but whatever. To draw your settlement, you need to draw. You need to send some of the workers to produce food. Sorry, my bad. If I'm uh, speaking to it, if I'm tired of it. I am kind of tired, but I am trying to just get these uh, videos out there for you all. So, I don't know. Sorry if that's bad, but I'm trying to do good. Do good. I guess. And have videos be consistent. Ideally, uh, at least one a day. So, yeah. Um, I actually tell them some slack in this. If they say now we shorten food, it's, it's a small game. It's not made by like a big publisher, even big publishers of any games. I mean, of, um, of, like, triple-A games have buds, for sure. Like this, I, I, you know, I, I, I want to say. So, yeah. So, we're starving. That's never good, I want to, I want to say, in life. Um, so, yeah, it's just, uh, kind of a small, neat, neat little day. Uh, excuse me, I don't know why I'm, like, having all these hit-ups. Or over over whatever is happening to me. <laughs> um, here, yeah, this is your tets, your technologies. Um, this is the tets menu. We here you can spend some of your science points to obtain new to uh, obtain new knowledge. Um, technologies offer new opportunities, building upgrades, or different improvements. Yeah, so you can get these things: trading level one, seamanship, navigation, tartography, sculpture, city planning, heavy infantry. You have all these various types of buildings. This is the buildings menu. Here you can spend a part of your production to construct a building. Buildings enlarge the limit of workers or give other bonuses. Buildings demand a gold for upkeep. You can have multiple different things. It's it's a house, this is Warrington Shipyard, Adora, Towers. This is your world. As you see, there's plenty of um, things to I guess, explore and find out and, I guess, um, dominate and um, capture or maybe, maybe just alliances with, I guess. Um, whatever your play style maybe. I guess it's maybe kind of like a, a sieve type of thing where, um, maybe to kind of, it's just kind of up to you if you want to, um, be like, domination or culture. Um, and yeah, maybe something like that. This is the map of lands around you. Here you can explore new lands. Some of you will be able to townize in the future. You know, it just says future, but whatever. The knowledge about new lands and your townies will improve your overall income. Diplomacy, yeah, we have two right now. This city's famous for their ancient culture and their warrior strength. Um, kind of tells you our free ships. To, I guess to trade with people. Um, so yeah, here's the diplomacy stream. These are your neighbors, independent cities, competing with you for power. You will decide what to do with them. You can be friends, trade with them, or talk with them all. Toshin, enemies to form a coalition. And there's nothing here right now because we don't have any contact with them. But if there was some, if we had contact with them, I would, <laughs> I would imagine more would be here. I want to say there would be. Here's the help, also as well. Um, if you want to know how to do some things in the game, here's the options. Not very much options, but it's just kind of nice. Keep it simple. Just sound and music, full stream. Um. 
Yeah, and then, um... Yeah, and then you can end your turn by just pressing that. Um, here's our population. We have a population of 8. Here's just some stats about that. Mm. We need some population. Need for a new settler. Mm. Here's our production. Some stats about this type of stuff. Yeah, production. I guess it's needed for new buildings, construction, and style trainings. New buildings, new jobs to the citizens, but require maintenance. Amount of men in, your, in our city's population. The more men, the more resources you can get per turn. Tultures, the torture stream. Stuff about that. It allows us to unlock new opportunities or to improve existing ones. The fleet. Stats about that. How much you need to get a new trader. And I guess this is for research points. Um, science points. This is for stouts. And yeah, settlers. Um, need for intensive trading and the uh, merchant training. You need to train them all the time to cover all the trade routes. Here's your army. Some stats about this stuff. We have a, a militia. Your army is weak but cheap. So your best tactic is defense. Um, we have, considering we have zero people, you would imagine we have a pretty horrible army. <laughs> so, we need 80 for a general. Or new general, at least. Um, but I imagine, yeah, but I guess... Yeah, well, I guess it would just be a general, because we don't have one to begin with. So I guess it would be new, but whatever. Use for defense and attack, also for general's training. The closer the army's limit, the slower the troops' training. Army strength, all that stuff. Gold stats about this, enough for a new envoy. Need uh, for upkeep of troops, navy, buildings, trade, and envoy training. Envoy training. It will be wise to keep some gold and tall for his just in case. And the base board and do what it says. Move some people to here. To uh, um, preferably at least have a. I guess we didn't need to do all that, but I don't know. This doesn't really hurt. Um. As you see, you stroll it, and the stats up here are changing. But let's just change it so these stats I at least have one. Now we have a new mission. Yeah, and as you saw before, these are civilization points. During the game, you will receive civilization points as a measure of your strategic abilities. The more you will achieve, the more points you will get. For the completed game in the hard mode play, you will get multiplied points. Points to me spend... Points to... Points to be, sp yeah. I'm just gonna say that says that that should be spent, to be spent, in current game or save for new tries. I have earned 20 civilization points already. I guess I can use some to get more resources, get men, or increase my limits. Um, uh, this seems kind of like the best, maybe, because uh, it's permanently mm, by 10, but for the time being, we'll just keep it as that. Let's check out our new mission area of the invitation of Ad Adatai. People from the neighboring villages are migrating to our city. It will accelerate our development. Population growth plus 40%. The old population 150. We get a reward of 20 warriors and 50 gold. That sounds nice. Um, plus press and turn after you have finished managing tasks, the new time period will come. Fortress will produce resources and the new events will occur. Now let's end the, well, you know, just end the turn like it says. Progress on with the game. We did one science, we have, yeah, we set a science point. Um, we got, yeah, we got some production there, we got one gold. We're still pretty horrible armies, considering we have none, so... <laughs> Um, yeah, the village has produced enough culture to get a science point. Now you may spend a science point to learn one of the available tests. So, you can, there's various branches you can go on, various ones you can do. Generate more resources. Um, you spend some of the population. The others become farmers, farmers, efficiency, trees, for Hmm. And then there's different branches. Off of it, they can um, 
Nathan Tom from it. But for the time being, I guess let's just do that. Um, so I guess our farmers can have more efficiency. Now everything's up at one. But now we now we more of a population though, so we can, we could allocate more to there. But I think and I think we actually are gonna need some. Why well, we don't um have that yet? But I think we're maybe gonna need some more housing soon because I think our maximum we can hold is 12 so I think we're gonna need to um yeah throw down some housing route or so um yeah so then yeah we can build some houses then but we need production of a, a level 10 for that but we increase the population so we should hopefully get more people um, yeah, it's, yeah, this is just kind of the game, I guess, you just kind of, um, stuff happens, but, you know, you just kind of, you know, build on, and go up from there, and just, um, unlock more, do more, um, as time goes on. Ooh, that seems, that seems wise, just every worker in general? That seems kind of overpowered. I don't know if that's really entirely... Sages generate 30%. Oh, this is... Oh, okay. Oh, okay. This is the turret level. Okay. I think I was maybe looking at... Maybe... Oh, yeah. My gosh. I think I was always looking at maybe the, the drawing 2 level, not the... Oh. Well, my bad. <laughs> my bad. I I was looking at number 2 always, not, not the turret one. And that's occupation, gathering, heavy herbalist generates 0 0.2 maximum. Okay, increased population. Well, maybe I, was, maybe I looked at this one by 10, but yeah. Oh, no, wait. Oh, no, wait. Maybe I wasn't. Um. But yeah. General gatherers become farmers. Farmer efficiency increased by 25%. This is unlocked. Unknown oh, technology. Oh, no. Central workers generate more resources by 50%. So yeah, I guess I was looking at, at, the, at the number one section. Um, and number one. So yeah, we as you see, we have more workers available now. As you add more, more that's add the torture, but then less, but the more is taken away from other things. So, um, and as you see, as we add more, more that's added up there. But for the time being, um, Let's just keep it for that for now. Until we get more people. So that's not, now, we have, now we have more people. Let's we can maybe add something to this. So we can keep the stuff. Maybe just a base of two. New building. You have too many of production to construct the building. I read buildings that increase the population limit or number of workers. And and um, it has a maintenance cost. So, so we, and keep this stuff in mind. Um, but it will increase our workers. So, um, our capacity for um, workers. So, that should be nice. I should probably I should, I should add some more workers to the. Um, to maybe the fields. To maybe make more. Um, to have more faster. Um, to have more um, settler summon. Um, as you see, here's our gold, uh, 12, 2.2, 2.2 death selection. Supposedly there's no upkeep, but I think these have an upkeep of, these houses have an upkeep of one. Having too many enough production, your sum automatically produce the stout. Stouts and spawn new lands, increase the production and income to, um, yeah, to receive more stouts. Peloponnese, but do we have to, I guess we, I guess we gotta choose them. Um, yeah, as you see, we have now a new Tontat. Um, oh yeah, I guess we had Spire before, but now we have, to have a Tontat of Spire there, neutral to us, which is probably good. <laughs> um, since they're famous for their warrior strength, and we have, um, none, so, yeah. You know, they have no generals as well, so I don't know how, but I guess they have an army of ten, so, yeah. <laughs> 
Um, yeah, see, so you, your relations are here. You can send them social exchange proposal lines, purchase lands. You can do various things. Um, yeah, it shows you the stats of this place, the growth bonuses. You can trade with them. You can attack them, um, which I definitely would not advise right now. As that's impossible right now, anyways. Because we don't have a general and we have zero <laughs> people in our army. So it's time for us to attack someone when you have no one in your army. Um, I'll just do this just because it's the last one to have like up here with like these ones. But then after this, I would like to do the training troops, so. Um. But yeah, and, me, and don't forget our civilization points. We still have 21. I could permanently increase things, but maybe just keep things as they are for now. Yeah, but then I would say it's maybe wise to have this thing if you can support it. Um. Maybe it's wise to have this like, kind of like mad style. So you can get like people that are um, constantly flooding in. You can get a higher number of them. And then you can add more to like these types of things. And then you see like it was down to zero. I believe but now you just do a turn and then increase it up again. Um, so then I guess as turns go on. Your stuff tenant does increase because you get new um, population in. Um, if that's the case. And then... The stuff just increases. So yeah, um, maybe depending on how much you um you have like open, maybe try and fill these up. But it's, it's all just it's all just dependent on, on, on a variety of factors. But anyways, since we're gonna establish a place here, hmm, we're in a population to establish a new colony of thieves. What colony, what type of the colony would you like to establish in Middle Greece? Region, colony, growth bonus, production, and growth, colony, colony production, po po population plus four. The chosen colony bonus will grow constantly every turn. I mean, gold, I feel, is just I'm always nice to have. For this one, let's just do... <sighs> let's just do gold, I guess. It's nice, though. It's always nice to have. Um, yeah, we got a science point, and, can, and then also, like, I'll show you that you can save up science points. So yeah, um, yeah. So we have two science points now. So you don't, you, don't, you don't need to spend them all at one time. You can save them up and build them up if you um want to. But for the time, um, but yeah, I'm just going to unlock this occupation of training troops. So every worker generates 0 0.1 workers, warriors, my bad. Um, I guess mats, mortars and warriors, 20. Oh, whatever. Um, I, mean, I, did, I did the gymnasium from that. And since I have a science point left over, oh, I was thinking maybe just doing this. Which I mean, super Dutch gym. I did it. The stats to let there. Ooh, but I already, I already make them gold, though. So I don't know how... But I guess you should... Um, I, should I should always use more gold. Or generate stupid production. But, you know, let's just do this one. Since I already have a place, a town, it's generating me gold. In middle, Greece and Thebes. Um, yeah, so I already have a place that's doing this for me. 20% of the main resource income. And as you see, we have a new activity that's available. Oh, mu multiple, multiple new activities that are available. Um, and since we have the, the population to at least um, fill this up, I filled that up. Um, was I supposed to? Oh, yeah. It was, yeah, it was telling me to explore a new area. Let's explore... Uh, let's explore Treat, I guess. Um, so yeah, let's just do this. Unexpected discovery. Um, during exploration of the region, our stouts have found mercenaries. They are, are tired of wandering and decide to join our army. Uh, 
Um, troops plus six. Okay, okay, okay. Um, as you see, I appear as pop er, um, in terms of population. I thought maybe it would show how much of our people are like, um, are just like here, but like aren't working. But maybe it doesn't. Oh, we, we have we have last adult. That's not good. Oh, this is this is our first maybe like event or um, disaster or or whatever. I guess maybe this was our first event. This type of thing maybe. But yeah, I suppose maybe this is our first. I guess disaster. Um, in a sense, eruption. People are scared. But luckily, we were far from the epicenter, and all the refugees began to flock to us. We did three. Minus 30% culture for thir 10 turns, but 20% population for 10 turns, though. So, I guess it's a, it's a div and take type of thing. Uh, but yeah, that's nice, so that it does um, give you a div and take. I mean, what's I mean, like, themes should be giving us. I mean, we're getting like, but still, we just we just don't have the. <laughs> Don't have the the resources for that. I did a new building to match some of the farmers. If I want more farmers to come, which you know maybe maybe you know I guess that doesn't really hurt. Food is your main resource. Food is the source of your city of the city's growth. Keep the population growth at the maximum. Keep in mind um, the population limit. Increase the limit to construct houses and wells. Yeah, we definitely need a faster population growth so we can get more people to um, come to our place. Oh, I th I'm sorry. I just stipped something, I believe. The main part of the tutorial is completed. Continue wisely by managing workers, allocating them according to the situation or events. Additional hints you can get in the help menu. As here, as I showed you beforehand. We have an enemy invasion. Um, the sav yeah, by uh, by the Dorians, I guess the savage tribe of Dorians are invading our northern lands. All the attacks, slavery, and devastation. That doesn't sound good. <laughs> Taste of defeat. We will lose forty citizens and production for repairs of a hundred. Wow. So they have fifteen. So I guess we need to get fifteen. So hopefully we do that fifteen by that time. We can evade. Um, but then enemies at seeds, um, already to have a victory, and we get 10% bonus to army strength for 10 turns. Uh, I want to say. So, um, yeah, so just to keep that in mind, um, but I really should maybe be training more. I just wanted that full. Okay. Okay, I did that. I got that full. Hopefully we can train our troops. Okay, we're doing two troops a turn now, so we should have enough. We should have more be more than that. And then we are getting more dull as time goes on. Oh, we got new lands. Our workers were able to clear the large pieces of new land from rats and trees. That's nice, nice, nice. We got new stuff that would check out our town of Thebes. We got chose the older turn now. Um, let's check out Cree. Sure. Uh, we got, um, we got Torrenth. Um, yeah, so, uh, the city from ye olden days, if you know of, um, yeah, if you know of the Bible, the church in Torrenth is in this city. I, I, I want to say because it's the place to talk Torrenth. Um, I believe it was a church in Torrent, then the Bible, and this is where I imagine it would be. And the city is famous for its bustling trade. Uh, they offer production, but they need culture. So yeah, they're, they're new. To, they're they're indifferent to us. I'm gonna say that's not good. Hopefully they don't get hostile, hostile or don't attack us. Um, yeah, yeah, we have new technologies. We have one technology point. Um, hmm. I really would love to upgrade. 
my my main maybe my army strength. But um I need a tenth level of nine for that. I'm only at seven. So I mean I guess I guess we need to I guess we need need more money. Um So as that um yes yeah, I guess money is just useful for a lot of things in this in this in in this thing. So yeah, then you know we can clear some maximum limit of warriors or clear tax collectors. Um, I think what we have now is sufficient. Let's we'll just draw our population, and um, I I really need to maybe use some houses though maybe, um, to maybe like increase you know our um, population capacity, but we need a lot more stuff for that. Um. So maybe since we just have, I guess, available workers, maybe we'll just increase. I'm gonna learn with love. I don't know how much it really matters. Um, since just this turn now, I can buy this next place. I can get that now. Um, supposedly there's too much workers in that place. Don't know. What Limit reach. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because, um, yeah, our population limit is reached. So, what's the point of having a lot of workers if you don't, um, in a place if they aren't, if they aren't needed there anymore? And yeah, so we can just put those, siphon them somewhere else. Put them somewhere else. Um, but anyways, I think I'll get through this invasion, and then I will, um, hard one victory. It's good. And then I will end the video there. You tune in to throw in your village automatically receive an envoy. Envoys to improve relationships with neighbors or to lead an alliance. Put that produce more dough to get new envoys. Okay, I feel like I, w I would like to maybe be with um, Sparta more so. Um, do I want to send you gifts? Sure. Taught you all exchange. I don't know how much I really care about you. <laughs> I don't know how much I. Um, but yeah, there's our thing. <laughs> I guess we're now friendly with you, which is better than not being friendly, especially with someone like uh, Sparta. <laughs> um, and we're, and we're making tons of dole to turn. We're just churning out that dole. I guess if you don't, if you don't have them enabled, um, they would just go into production and culture. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think we're. I don't know if you really need all that gold, so yeah, so yeah, let's just let's just do it for now. I mean, we're definitely in danger in battle and utterly destroy them, I, I would hope. Yes, yeah, so you successfully repelled the attack. Nice, nice, nice. Even if our weak army name just wants <laughs> to keep telling me, I wanted to tell me or something. We successfully repelled the Dorian attack. Our woman and children have become our loot. Dumb, th dumb, th th I agree with that, I want to say. Um, what, what will we do with them? Show mercy by quickly send them away without any harm. Take women as wives. Others who send them to the mines to the end of their days. Wow, set them as brothers and sisters. Give them lands and cattle. Um, and execute them. It will uh, terrify our enemies and will impress our allies. Wow. Um... It's between these two. It's sent them as brothers and sisters, give them lands and cattle, or show mercy. We totally send them away without any harm. I feel like this one maybe sounds the best because. I mean. Um. You have the tiny accept one. But the torture. I don't know if I really need a settler. So I think I'm just going to do the torture growth for 40 turns. The final story of the you have successfully passed the trial, just like the great ruler. The, the, the successful trial allowed you to keep the best development pace at this stage. Okay, great. The final story is name plus five civilization points plus one. Um Tantra growth plus forty percent. Yeah, but anyways, that's I guess it's just kind of like the the basis of this game, you know, as you um as you don't want more things happen. But I guess it's just the base 
this of the, of, the, of the steam. So hopefully you you learned something. Hopefully I did good. Hopefully I um. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you had something out of it. Hope it was informative. Um, hope I hope I did better as time goes on. These videos, um, because I guess you always tend to better. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. Thank you for thank you thank you if you watched the whole way and just uh, yeah, just thank you and have a great day. Bye bye for now.